Watch you guys, got another video here for you on Windows 11 updates for unsupported hardware. If you've installed Windows 11 on a system that has unsupported hardware, then you may already know that there is a rumor that you are going to get blocked uh, updates in the future. Now, there's a lot of people saying that they're updating Windows 11 already, but there isn't that many updates for Windows 11, so I don't know where they're getting these updates from. Now, you could end up seeing something like this when you start to update Windows 11 in the future. It could say this PC doesn't currently meet all the system requirements for Windows 11, and it will get you to run the uh, Get PC Health Check, and you can check your PC, and it will tell you that you don't meet their requirements. And this will be very easily for Microsoft to implement on their uh, system to block updates for those PCs that have got, say, for instance, a CPU that is in the unsupported list. Now, is this going to happen? We don't know. Microsoft have already said officially in one of their articles that they are going to now start to block security updates. As you can see here, installing Windows 11 on devices that don't meet minimum system requirements. If you look at the pop-up here, it says, what needs your attention? This PC doesn't meet minimum system requirements. And you can see down in that sort of list, it says if you proceed with installing Windows 11, your PC will no longer be supported and it won't be entitled to receive updates, damages to your PC due to the lack of compatibility aren't covered under the manufacturer's warranty. So you can see Microsoft are already starting to put things in place to uh, notify people they won't receive these updates, but that doesn't mean you're not going to get them. So I've also seen a lot of people talking about manual updates and installing updates manually. And the way you can do that is with tools like WSUS Offline Updater and a bunch of other different ways. It just means that you're going to have to jump through a bunch of hoops to get updates onto that system. I'm not so sure that is the way to go forward. Now, WSUS Offline Updater was a great tool for PC repair techs to update systems very quickly. And you can put them on a thumb drive and put them on multiple different systems. You don't have to keep updating uh, all the updates, downloading them and updating them. That way you can just roll them out across uh, all of the computers here. Another way of going about it is downloading the Microsoft Update catalog, going to their website and downloading them manually here. But as you'll see, as of yet, Windows 11 is not available for WS, US or the Microsoft Update catalog yet. There's no updates here. So these people that make videos online saying they're updating Windows 11, it's working perfectly fine. I don't know what updates they're getting because there is no updates really available apart from the uh, Windows Defender uh, update that comes down, and that is it. And uh, at the moment, as you can see, if you want to do a search here for Windows 10 security updates, it will give you a list of all the security updates for Windows 10. You could easily download these and install them on your system. That is for Windows 10. Are we going to be able to see Windows 11 on here, and are we going to be able to do this manually for Windows 11? Even if Microsoft did release these updates just like these Windows 10 ones for Windows 11, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to install this onto that system. As you go to install, there may be that code message coming up saying your PC is not supported for updates, and they can do that pretty easily. So it's not a gimme. You're not going to be able to just think that you can go around installing manual updates for Windows 11 uh, by doing it that way. There is a way that they can block it. Are they going to go to all this trouble to block updates uh, manually? I really don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Only time will tell. But you can get all of the updates manually for Windows 10, and I'm hoping that there will be a way of getting these manually for Windows 11 as well, because it sometimes uh, is easy to fix just one update. So when you get a problem, you uninstall an update, you can download it quickly from here and quickly install it. So I can't see them not doing it. So it's just whether you're going to be able to install it on a blocked system. Now, I see a lot of people saying that their Microsoft are causing a massive e-waste and all this sort of nonsense. But really, at the end of the day, Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro follows the modern lifecycle policy, and Microsoft will continue to support at least one Windows 10 semi-annual channel up until October 
14, 2025, which gives probably the life cycle of that hardware anyway. Now, Windows 10 will still support all unsupported hardware that is not supported on Windows 11. So if you do have an older system, you can still use Windows 10 up until 2025 and possibly longer. So there's no need to panic just yet because you still have an operating system to use. Now, what other options are available to you if uh, you don't want to use Windows 10 all of a sudden? If you've lost faith with uh, the Microsoft platform and you want to jump on another operating system, well, there's quite a few to choose from out there. But obviously, the immediate one that people are going to mention is Linux. And there's quite a few distros to choose from if that is your thing. Now, whether that's going to be something that you're going to be able to get used to, but there is a bunch of ones that I would advise that you try out. And let me give you a list of them here. So Pop OS is a pretty popular uh, distro you can use. You can download this and use it for free, and you can install this on your system. It looks and feels a lot like Windows 10, so you're not going to feel left out, and it's very easy to use and understand. Ubuntu is another user-friendly, uh, easy to get used to for uh, you know Windows users, and you can see here you'll be able to easily download this on the system and create a bootable USB flash drive and install it on your computer. Linux Mint is another useful little operating system that you can install. is another free one you can download and install on your system. Very user friendly for Windows users that have never used another operating system before. Elementary OS is another option you can use. Again, this is a beautiful looking operating system. And of course, we covered the Zorin OS before, but it is a really good option for people that are jumping over from a Windows-based system to a brand new operating system. You're going to need to learn how to use a new operating system and get used to using a lot of uh, new software, which is based on Linux. That would be my personal opinion. If you're trying to use Windows and Linux at the same time, it can be really confusing and it can start to cause you a lot of problems. You either jump ship completely to a new operating system and get used to it. And it's just like, say, using an Android phone and then suddenly using a iPhone. It's going to be completely different for you and you'll need to get used to it, just like Windows and Linux. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Leave all your comments in the comment section below. I look forward to reading those. I just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are running up on the screen right now. Thanks again. Bye for now.